Okay, let's do a quick video on axes. Axis in the world, or a SketchUp model, has a center point, which is the world zero point. This is zero. Everything over this is a plus, and everything under this is a minus. Uh, and then in turn, if you make a object and group that together, it will also have its own axis point. And that is mostly based on what axis it was drawn on on the world axis, but moved to the closest point to this group. If you by mistake or intentionally should end up changing this model so that it no longer uh, matches up or is parallel to any of your own axes, it can be a bit of a hassle to work with. But the thing is, as long as you have your, your original axis inside this model, it's actually really to reset really easy to reset just move use the move tool and just press uh, or hover over these little red axes and then you can simply turn them to this uh, what do you call it T degree uh, display here till it snaps on one of the axes and then as you see now it's blue red and green and back to its original point and matches up with the world axis. Another thing, if you're in here and you actually move the object in here using, for example, like the rotate tool or any other tool for that matter, uh, that will actually move it away from its original axis, then you see that the bounding box does not completely encumber it and that will make it harder to line it up to your axis here. It is still possible to do, you can use uh, this tool here and simply align every part and, and try and figure out where it is, but it's, it's, it's a pain in the backside really. If you want to fix something like this, then you have to move the axis inside the group. Never move the axis outside in the world. If you do that by mistake, you have to reset it. Easiest way to do that is just open a new file and put it in there. Uh, not going to go through this here to reset the axis inside this object. You find a corner which has all the three different lines and you push one corner and then click on the red axis and then you click on the green axis and the blue axis will be automatic from that. Now the bounding box is back and you can again go into this and find the center pieces of each of these turn dials. There we go and now we're back to having this on the proper place. Now if you want to do this on several objects at once, I'm guessing you're going to have to use uh, some exten ex extension or something, but uh, that's generally how axes work.